Uptown Mall, yeah? Ah, nice, 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 nice. Look, even the scooters and the bikes, bicycles from Mover have got a small little Philippine flag on each of them. Well, actually, not every single one of them. I think it's uh, one does, one does, one does, one does. But I'm gonna hop on a scooter and go to the high street. Welcome to the Philippines Independence Day, the 12th of June, at the time in which I'm making this video. You'll probably see this the next day on the 13th. Right, you might be wondering, what did I do with my flag that I bought in yesterday's video? That's still at home, and I still haven't inverted the flag the correct way around. From reading the comments, I only found out recently that if you've got the red side up of the flag upside down, it means that the Philippines is at war. And if you have the blue side facing up, then it means that the Philippines is at peace. Yeah. I only learned that just now. Ooh, but let's go to the high street. There's my little flag there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Folks, I think the daily vlogs are coming back. Yes. I think I'm gonna try once again to upload daily on the channel. So that means a vlog every single day for you guys and i think i'm gonna try and upload it at the hours between 12 and 2 p.m i can't stick to the really early hours of the morning it's midday to 2 p.m daily vlogs again yeah and what better day to mark the return of the daily vlogs than doing it on the philippines independence day Well, folks, we've arrived at the high street and it's not as lively as it is in Uptown and neither is it as patriotic as it is in Uptown. There's so many flags of the Philippines around Uptown, but here, I don't see one in sight. I wonder why that is. It's because Uptown's the best. Look, I don't see any flags around here whatsoever. And one thing I've noticed as well recently is that somehow in the trees around BGC, especially in the high street, and a few in Uptown, cicadas have made their way here. Can you hear them? Yeah, there never used to be the sound, I don't think. I don't recall anyway, that is. The annoying sound of cicadas is in BGC. You usually get them in the provinces, near mangroves or dense park, forests, etc. Look, you can hear more here. Interesting. What a beautiful day it is today. It's kind of funny. Here, hello, how do you do? Happy Independence Day. It's kind of funny here in Manila, um, the mornings tend to start off really cloudy and hazy. And then from about 1 or 2 p.m. the sun comes out and it gets really, really hot. Ugh. And that's unfortunately the time that I, I go out and shoot these videos. Because I'm working in the morning and I'm working in the night. Always working, folks. Feels good to be back in BGC. It's nice to have a break from the city, go to the provinces and come back and then repeat it again, or maybe even sometimes leave the PH, go to other countries, etc. Wow, we've got someone in a very bright turquoise color. Yeah, the high street is not looking so interesting on Philippines and Clemens Day. Let's go back to our town. You know, I don't even know if it's a bank holiday today. I don't think it is. I think some companies have allowed their employees a day off and others are just you know working as if it's a normal ordinary day oh there we are we've got some more flags there hanged on the lampposts at the central reservation of this street what street is this this is fifth avenue you don't look filipino 
Nice bike. Oh, where are you from? from Korea. Oh, from Korea. Nice. How much? Oh, you can fit your dog in that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got like a door where your dog steps through and then sits in the middle, right? Yeah. You got a dog? Yeah. What kind? Uh, it's Pomeranian. Pomeranian? Pomeranian and Korean. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Okay. Green light. See you. Oh, she was Korean, folks. Woo! Look how I go. Woo! <laughs> She's zipping, folks. Wait, I'm gonna try and catch up to her. No, no, she's off. She's gone. These things are only limited to 20 kilometers per hour, but I think her scooter can do upwards of 30. That's so cool if you've got like a little Shiba Inu or a small little dog that you can put in there, like a Corgi. So handy to get around the city on that little thing. It's like a little motorbike, but well, electric. We're back at Uptown and the Uptown Mall staff are having their official salute with the Philippines flag on Independence Day. Wow, they look very, very organized and smart. Yeah. Okay, now the reason why I've come to Uptown um, is because I want to show you two things. One, there's this extremely long queue underneath the building that I'm staying at. And then two, I wanna show you a new department store that's opened up in the area of Uptown. It opened up like last month, but I wasn't here. And so I wanna go check it out. I've already had a little wander around and it looks pretty cool, but it's very similar to an Ikea. And it's actually very convenient because if I wanna buy similar items to what they sell in Ikea, I've got it right here in Uptown. Hi, sorry. What are you queuing for? There's the sale. Oh, sale. Yeah. Of everything or? Then there's. How much? Do you know? Buy one, get one. Is that what the sale is? Yeah. yeah. Can you get, can you buy a TV and get one as well or no? We don't know. Don't you don't know? Selected items. Oh, selected items. Okay. Wow. Quite an extensive queue for just a buy one, take one on selected items. If it was of everything, one could understand. Oh, look at this. Holy crap. I don't know. I feel like most of these folks have come from outside of BGC. They don't even live in BGC. And look at it. So this is the regular lane and then this is the priority lane. People with kids and like elderly people, maybe PWDs as well. Holy crap. I've never seen Landa so busy. And look at all the trolley carts waiting to be Hello. I walked in here earlier today and I saw the queue for the food here at Landers, which is mostly like fast food, like pizza and burgers and chips. Um, and I couldn't believe how many people were in line. So busy today. Wait, what does it say here? Dropbox. Landers 8th anniversary shop and win. Porsche 911. Wow. They finally almost completed this awning that they've been working on for like two months outside the landers they painted it red i was wondering why they were painted red because there's nothing here that's red but then red kind of gives like that sort of hotel vibe similar to like the really high class hotels you see in london they always have like red even hamley's the really famous toy shop has like an awning that's red maybe landers is doing the same thing but they still haven't implemented a zebra crossing here and it's so annoying so many people every day cross this really busy road and we literally have to weave in weave out through the cars so it looks like from here huh, not too bad all right let's go into mitsukoshi mall yes the new department store i think it's called nitori and it's located on the third floor i'm not sure if you guys already seen this or seen the video about it but it was a pretty big deal a month ago and there's a lot of people that shop every day up there look at it so it used to be the ground floor and the first floor that was only open and then they would have these sort of awnings or fabrics hanging down to signify that the second floor wasn't complete but now it is and it's 100 percent allocated to this notori store japan's number one home decor and furnishing i guess it's competing with ikea which is sweden's number one home and decor furnishing store japan versus sweden which is better I told you folks, it is quite busy, eh? 
So if one wanted to buy plates, cutlery, etc., individually, as in one piece at a time, you can. Plates here are 79 pesos each. Nice, white, a simple design, but contemporary at the same time. See, the thing is, I am not on the look for anything in particular, but maybe we'll see what people are buying here and ask them about it. What are you doing then, man? <laughs> is this supposed to be waterproof? No, it's, it's supposed to dry, dry fast, I think. Oh, it's really? Spray the pink one. <laughs> I spray the pink one? Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, what's this dark magic? <laughs> or, or black magic? Uh, the, the bottle's broken though, right? The bottle leaks more than... Oh, I better not spray myself. Okay. So, we've got a bathroom mat that dries very quickly. I mean, it's not a mat though, it's like a tile, right? They call it a mat, but... It's like made out of... Is this stone? 599 pesos for the big one. 499 pesos for the small. We're now in the pillow section. And I've had a feel of their pillows, and Jesus, it is really comfy. And this particular one, it just feels, I don't know, it's so puffy. And like, it doesn't sink all the way to the bottom, does it? Yeah, it still retains some level of rigidity such that you don't really touch the bottom. So there's some firmness to it as well. And the standard pillow, which is 40 centimeter by 60 centimeter, I think that's this, is available at 749 pesos, which is machine washable. Look at that. That is a very good quality pillow. What do you think, ma'am? Good quality? Yeah. Yeah? So nice. Feel this one. This one's superb. Oh, wow. And yeah. guess how much it is? How much? 749. Okay. That's nice. How much is yours? Or the one that you're feeling? Oh, 899. Oh, that one's 899. Mm -hmm. That's nice. You don't like that one? I feel that one's better. No? What are you after? A firm pillow or a soft pillow? Firm. Oh, firm, yeah, I like firm as mm. well. Wow, you bought a lot of stuff. Is that your cart? Yes. Oh, yeah. are you moving somewhere? Yeah. To where? Here? New condo, yeah. I live just across the road. Oh, wow, that's In Uptown Park City, yeah. <laughs> so whenever I want to buy, like, some nice pillows or oh, something like that. Again? No, I've been here two years. Oh, God. Yeah. New pillows. New yes. Pillows. I actually recently bought some, but yes. had this been open, I think I would have purchased from here rather than having to go all the way to Ikea. Look at this. Ma'am, you need to buy these pillows. <laughs> I know. Feel it. That's so nice. Oh my god. Ah? I know, like, Lang, try this one. This is crazy. Oh my god. Wow, that's true. But is this really 749 pesos? Yeah, look, it's this. Yeah, it is. Pillow height medium, hotel standard. Wow. Oh, yeah, the hotel standard. Hotel standard. All right, enjoy shopping, guys. Take care. And then look at all these comforters here. I love how they have it all laid out with the prices and big. It says small and PHP. The number is massive. And then it's got like a little squiggly hyphen thingy um, that is so famous in Japan. Like every price in Japan, I think, has that small little sign. It's just a tradition over there to include a price or that like squiggly hyphen. They've got all the duvets and comforters laid out here in single size but then if you want to go with like a double or a queen size the singles and the doubles are positioned here and then the queens are found on the bottom shelf and look at the packaging of these pillows ma'am over there is still feeling the pillows <laughs> love the packaging that is so classy so minimalist the colors are so nice on the eyes but this packaging is kind of expensive compared to like just like in comparison to this and then we've got more pillows, more pillows, more pillows. Oh, we've got like an orthopedic pillow here. Anti-snoring. Hmm. Another anti-snoring one here for 749 pesos. I can't believe the prices of these pillows. If you go to like SM Aura and try to buy yourself one of these, it's going to be about two to 3,000 pesos. But here, upstairs of Mr. Koshi Mall, it's less than a K. Some stationary stuff here. Oh, this would be nice to put like your pens, pencils, or maybe even like a computer screen on top of that and then put stuff underneath it. But look at the cues for the cashier. It's self-checkout and the self-checkout booths are located at the end. And the queue comes all the way down here and wraps around this corner, almost all the way near the escalators. There's about 20 to 30 people in line waiting to pay. And a lot of folks who are waiting to pay or like family members of people who are in queue are just sitting on the chairs, utilizing the sofas until they pay, which is a pretty smart idea. All right, that was a quick tour of 
Mitori here. I'm now going to take the Mitsukoshi elevators, which I've never done on the vlog. I did yesterday and I was thoroughly surprised by how big they are. I don't think these actually go up to the units. They just take you to the second and first floor of the mall. But look at this. The roof is made of this like traditional sort of rice paper that they have on Japanese sliding doors. And the elevator is massive. It's rated at 26 people, but the size of the elevator, I would say probably can fit like 30. All right, folks, that was a nice quick little tour of BGC on the Independence Day of the Philippines, which is the 12th of June. And I'm gonna wrap up today's video here. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like today's video, and share it with friends and family. And I'll see you in the next video here on the channel. Many thanks for watching, guys. Take care, bye for now.